Welcome to Julie's Sewing Workshop. I am going to demonstrate how to make wool mittens today out of recycled wool sweaters. The first thing you need to do is you need to find, maybe in Salvation Army, or maybe you have some in your own closet, a 100% wool sweater. Then you'll take it and you wash it in warm water in the washing machine and throw it in the dryer. It will shrink and cause the fibers of the wool to felt together, making them very easy to cut and no fraying. I'm going to demonstrate now um, how to put the wool mittens together. Once you have cut out your pieces, you have a back, you have a wrist and thumb piece, and you have a palm. Now the mitten will turn out looking like this. Here we have the back, the wrist piece, right here, and the palm. We make this twice for every mitten. The first time with wool, and the second time we'll make the same pattern again and make it for fleece on the inside as a lining. What we do is we have the two pieces of wool. This is Angora wool, very soft and fluffy. We put them opposite ways. And I'm going to put them this way because I want the right sides up. Then I'm going to take the palm. I have a light blue soft wool, I think also from Angora wool, and I'm going to put the right sides together. I'm going to pin our pieces together. This is the inside of each sweater that I cut, and this is the outside. I'm going to pin first the end of the thumb, then the inside of the thumb, and then as you can see, one is rounded out and one is rounded up. So I'm going to work that and make it so that they fit each other. and then I'll put a pin on the outside. Next I'm going to sew about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay, now that we have the seam all the way around this, I'm going to trim it quite closely to the seam. You don't want to have to feel a seam every time you put your mittens on at the tips of your fingers or at the tip of your thumb. And so I'm going to chop that part off and make a nice even trim all the way around. There is your thumb and your palm. Let's get ready to put the back on. Here we have the back. This is the inside of the sweater, the outside of the sweater, and this is the inside of the sweater. We put the outside of the sweater together with against the thumb. Okay, now we have to pin it all the way around. and we'll sew it and trim it just like we did before. Now we're going to turn it inside up and see what we have. Here we have a beautiful mitten. So, let's make the fleece. see we have the outside or the uh, seam side of the lining. We want to keep it that way. We're going to put the thumb back out 
because the seam side is actually going to go not against our skin but inside the mitten. Now we're going to put this in the mitten and see how it fits. Beautiful. Look at that. It just fills out all the wrinkles on the outside of the wool. But we can't keep it this way because we need to finish the edges here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it back out. Now we know it fits really well without any wrinkles around our hand. And we're actually going to put this one, the wool one, inside the fleece one. We're not going to worry about putting it inside the thumb just so that we know that the thumb side is with the thumb side of the fleece. And we're going to match them up at the bottom. Seam with seam. And put pins. That seam. Oops. And with that seam. When I start to sew around the edge, I like to start not in the middle but just slightly to the side and start sewing and going around the edge this way. Let me show you. So here is the edge seam and here is the pin that I put in. About an inch away from it, towards the middle of the back, about here, I start sewing. I back stitch and I sew all the way around. the next seam and I sew about an inch away from that next seam and back stitch. This leaves a small hole from there to there. That way I can put this through the hole and put them together properly. Now all I have to do is hand stitch this closed with an invisible seam. I'll show you how to do that right now. We're going to tuck both sides in, the fleece side and the wool side, and we're going to put our needle through the one end that is slightly into the sewn part. Then we're going to do the invisible stitch. This means we're going to take a bite out of the fleece side and a parallel bite out of the wool side. When we pull it tight, the, the stitch will actually disappear. Okay, you don't have to film this whole nine yards. As you can see, we have completed the stitching of that hole that we used to turn everything inside out, or right side out. Now we're going to put the glove on. It's beautiful, it's warm, it fits like a glove. However, if we were to leave it this way, and many people do, it's fine and it's warm and it's comfortable. But if it gets wet and heavy or stretched out a little bit, it begins to want to fall off your arm or your hand. And so, uh, by experience, I see a lot of people having to hold their hand in this position in order to keep their beautiful new gloves on. I would like to avoid having to do that by putting an elastic around the wrist part and um, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, I'm showing you how to put the elastic and we need to measure where do we want the elastic. We want it about right here. So I'm going to measure that against my sewing machine. I'm going to have the first line right here. Oh, I found some markers on my sewing machine that I can measure by. I'm going to keep the edge of my wool at this hole right here on my sewing machine. It will be different for your sewing machine, but that's going to be my measurement today. And I'm going to put my mitten around the base of my sewing machine. Now, not all mittens are going to fit, and if they don't fit, then you're going to have to do it 
from the inside like this, which is not difficult either. It's just harder to maintain a straighter line. So I'm going to do it this way. Okay, I'm going to start at the seam on the side. going to make a second line about a half an inch from the first and I'm going to move up. has created a tube for me to put the elastic in. So now I'm going to open up the little seam on the side and I'm going to insert the elastic. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so what we're going to do is between this seam and this seam, we're going to open up the side seam just in the middle. It won't actually break beyond this, so we'll just do it right here. We'll pull the stitches, we'll find the stitches, and we'll just break them. Then we're going to put a uh, safety pin on the end of an elastic, a dress elastic. And we're going to weave that, put that um, through this loop, uh, uh, tube, sorry, that we made right here. And we're going to push it through all the way till it comes out the other side. When you get to the opposite seam, sometimes it's a struggle to push it through. Um, just work at it and it will eventually go through. And then when you get it to come out the other side, pull it and there you have it. You have your elastic. Now I'm going to mark this with my thumb where I want it how tight I want it to be and I'm going to slip this mitten off and I'm going to pull it tight so that I can sew right there where I have marked it. As you can see I did the back stitching there and now I'm just going to clip it short and pull it in to the hole. I'm going to stuff it in so it doesn't show and then we'll just stitch up this little hole the same way as we did with the invisible seam on the edge of the mitten. And so now this is your new mitten. So there you have Julie's sewing workshop and a nice pair of gloves to go with it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.